man's name is Mark Zuckerberg. He was born 30 years ago on May 1984 in the White Plains, USA. In 2004, he created Facebook, the world's first and largest social network. Today, Facebook has over 1 billion active users. And so? Zuckerberg was born into a world where the internet did not exist, where Russia was called the Soviet Union, where apartheid was the rule in South Africa, and where China only ranked 11th worldwide in terms of GDP. In 30 years, in the space of only one generation, the world has not changed. It has undergone a radical shift. In 30 years, global population has gone from 4.5 to almost 8 billion. In 30 years, the wealth of the planet has doubled, with growth driven mainly by Asia, whose GDP has increased fourfold. In 1984, there were 130 cities of over a million inhabitants. Today, there are 550. Also, over that same period, 700 million people have emerged from extreme poverty, mainly in India, Brazil, and China. 30 years ago, no emerging nations figured on the list of the world's 10 countries that invested most in research. Today, China, Brazil, India, and Russia are among them. And in American University, two-thirds of science graduates are of Asian origin. 30 years ago, Google, Yahoo, Twitter, and YouTube did not exist. Today, 3.5 billion people use a mobile phone to access the Internet. And over the past 30 years, new middle classes have emerged in Asia, Africa, and in America. And 30 years from now, 30 years from now, Zuckerberg will be a sexagenarian. Global population will be in excess of 9 billion inhabitants, and 70% of the world's population will live in cities. 30 years from now, 9 of the world's 12 most populous cities will be in the Southern Hemisphere. 30 years from now, the GDP of Mexico will exceed that of France. Nigeria will have 400 million inhabitants, and Germany and Russia will have lost 20% of their population. The GDP of China will outstrip that of the USA in 2030. Thanks to shale gas, the United States will produce as much energy as it consumes, and the world's energy consumption will have increased by 50%. The energy consumption of buildings will have decreased by 25% in France and Germany. Mark Zuckerberg was born 30 years ago, and during that same time, an unprecedented global shift has taken place. This new world needs energy, innovation and responsibility. This world has a wealth of promise and opportunities. And we have the strength to seize them. Do, do, do.